So I never was a parent. So I've never had a child of my own. So anything regarding a baby really just has to be part of my imagination. I mean, it's interesting. In this seminary, one of my favorite classes was the baptismal preparation class where they had to teach us seminarians how to hold a baby. <laughs> Thank goodness we used a doll. <laughs> because at the end of every baptism, the priest is supposed to take the baby, hold the baby, and say, it is with great joy that I introduce to you the newest member of our community, born of water and the spirit, and whatever the baby's name is. So the class was hilarious. Do you know that some of the guys actually dropped the doll? <laughs> I mean, they dropped it, and some of them were like, Ew, cooties, ooh, ooh. I mean, it was just like they were allergic to having a baby near them or anything. And it was just like, what are they gonna do when they have a real baby? And I thought to myself, my imagination was nothing than the first time I took a real squirming baby. Do you know they move? <laughs> and, and, and do you know that their head is barely attached to the rest of the body? I mean, it's just like this dead weight flopping around there and everything. And you're just like, okay, okay, okay. But it was amazing. Absolutely amazing. So I can imagine what it's like when a parent takes their baby into their arms and holds it close to their heart. And so I can imagine... Mary taking Jesus wrapped in the swaddling clothes and holding it <clears throat> close to her heart. And then all these stupid shepherds showed up. <laughs> there goes the moment. I mean, we hear in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 2, verse 16, 18, the shepherds went in haste and found Mary and Joseph and the infant lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known the message that had been told them by the angels about this child. All who heard it were amazed by what had been told them by the shepherds. Amazed by what had been told them by the shepherds. And I think about Mary imagining that scene, holding the baby Jesus in her arms, all these shepherds showing up and just sharing amazing things with her. Amazing things with her. And thinking, what was that like? To hold Jesus and hear these incredible proclamations of who her son was going to become. And so my favorite verse of the whole passage is, Luke 2, chapter, 9, or chapter 2, verse 19. And Mary kept all these things, reflecting on them in her heart. Reflecting on them in her heart. So for those of you who have children, are there things that you reflect on in your heart? Memories that you have, times in the life with your children that you hold dearly. But what about people like me who don't have any kids? Yes, and that's true. I do not have any kids running around anywhere. <laughs> We're clearing that up right now. But I do have people that have come into my life and have touched me in a very deep way. 
people who have come into my life who I do hold close to my heart. And it's interesting because when you think of all these shepherds coming in, I bet you Mary didn't know all their names. But she held them in her heart anyway, don't you think? And, and the reality is, I don't know all your names. All right, and some of it's my bad. All right, you told me your name and I forgot and I'm embarrassed to ask you to tell it to me again, probably because you only told it to me like 20 times already and I still aren't remembering it. But still, even if I don't remember your name, do you know that in some way you've touched my life? You've touched my heart. And so I want you to reflect for a moment, who do you hold in your heart? Who has such worth in your life that you're willing to make room for them in your heart? Who is worth keeping in your heart this Christmas? Who is worth keeping in your heart this Christmas? Who do you reflect on in your heart? Who do you keep close in your heart? Who do you love with all your heart? And who do you enfold in the prayers of your heart? It's amazing how big your hearts are, aren't there? Amazing how big your hearts are that you could hold all these people in your heart and reflect on them like Mary did. So as we take this special occasion, Christmas, let us really give thanks that God gave us Jesus to remind us how important it is to open our hearts, to welcome the Christ child, to open our hearts to loving others. Let us celebrate this Christmas with open hearts, reflecting on all those who are worth keeping in our heart this Christmas.